Hi everyone and welcome to my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can migrate your documents and settings from Windows 7 or Windows XP or Windows Vista to Windows 10 using a utility from Microsoft called User State Migration Tool or USMT. I'm gonna be using USMT because Microsoft discontinued the software that is called Windows Easy Transfer so you cannot find the software on, on Windows 10 and it will not run on Windows 10 also Microsoft uh, partnered when uh, they released Windows 10 with LabLink uh, to provide the software called PC Mover Express free of charge unfortunately LabLink also stopped this software so, so you cannot find it anywhere so to download the USMT tool you need to download the setup program of Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. To do so, go to this link. I'm gonna paste it in my favorite browser. So, here's the link. And you see down there on the left side, it downloaded. All you have to do is click it click run and click next here on this screen next accept and deselect everything except user state migration tool so here you have only user state migration tool selected click on install I'm gonna pause this video now and continue when the install finishes and I'm back as you see here the Windows assessment and deployment kit for Windows 10 completed Just now that USMT is installed I'm gonna go to the location on the hard drive where it was installed so it's on the C drive program files x86 go to Windows Kits double click on 10 and it was installed here user state migration tool now I have a 64-bit architecture processor so I'm gonna choose AMD 64 even though I have an Intel it will work and I'm gonna send it to my removable drive which is USB key now that USMT is copied to my USB drive I'm gonna open an elevated command prompt to do so click on start and the run area key in CMD right click CMD and choose run as administrator change to your USB drive in my case I have it on the, the drive G and I'm gonna create a directory where to store the migrated documents and settings so I'm gonna do it the old way make directory USMT MIG it's created and now I'm gonna change to the folder where I copied the USMT files CD AMD 64 and I simply need to launch this command this command, this command basically does is it, it does a scan of my computer and it will put all the folders and files in this folder that I created on my USB drive and it will migrate users and document settings and it will migrate only the local files and this is very important in case you have a network drive that is attached to your home network you don't need to copy these files so make sure to put local only also and hit enter as you see it's working it's starting the migration process I'm gonna pause this video and resume it when the migration process ends and we're back and you see here that it was a success the scan state that we've done and I had 
four users on the computer and it copied the four users. Now I'm gonna pause this video and switch to the new computer and show you how to restore your documents and settings using the command load state from USMT. So we're now on the new computer and it has Windows 10. You don't need to recreate the users manually. They will be recreated when you import the documents and settings from the USMT backup that we took earlier from the old computer. So we are on the new computer. We need to put the USB drive in this computer. I've already done this and it took the F drive. Now we need to run an elevated command prompt. To do so, click on the run box and key in CMD, right click and choose run as administrator and choose yes. Switch to the, to the USB drive. Now you have to switch to the folder where you copied the USMT executables. So in our case, it was CD AMD. 64. Once you've done this, you need to run this command on the new computer. And what does this command do? I'm going to explain it. It will migrate the application settings. It will not migrate the application, so you have to reinstall the applications if they were not installed. It will migrate the user settings and documents and videos and music and everything. It will use, of course, the backup uh, file that we've done in the previous step, which was uh, scan state. It will, it will include everything. And this is an important switch. It will cre recreate the local accounts that were on the old computer. And it will give them, by default, this password. If you don't put the password, it will recreate them without a password. And this switch means it will enable the recreated account. So I'm going to hit enter. And you see it started the migration process. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to resume it when the migration ends. And we're back. You see that the migration status is a success. It had an error before. So to avoid stopping the process of migration, I've added the slash C command switch to the command that I've put earlier on. So I just added the slash C as you can see. And it was mainly a locked file error. It was like nothing very important. It was a, the antivirus uh, locked file error. So now everything finished and you see that the three users that I migrated, you can see that they were created. I'm going to show you how they were created. All of them, they were created. And all their files were copied also. So this also I can show you. And here they are. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, you can uh, put your questions in the comment area and I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Thank you for watching.